Today we're reading Goldilocks and the Three Ghosts. Once upon a time, there lived a nosy little girl. Her hair was golden yellow, so everyone called her Goldilocks, even though her real name was Pam. One day, Goldilocks walked into the forest. She came to a large run-down house. Don't go in, whispered the wind. But Goldilocks was too nosy to listen. She marched in the front door, pushed it open, and stomped inside. A light flickered in the large living room. Everything was covered with white cloth and dust. Spiderwebs clung to each other. It looked like no one lived in this house. No living person, that is. But you see, dear reader, the house was filled with spiders and dancing skeletons, and in the attic lived a family of ghosts. Goldilocks looked around. All of this is mine now, all mine, she says. If only Goldilocks had known that ghosts don't like it when you take their things. If only Goldilocks had cared. So. Goldilocks began looking at all her new things. She looked in cabinets, under chairs, behind couches, and on every table. She grabbed what she wanted to keep and tossed the rest. Dancing skeletons clicked and clacked, but Goldilocks was too busy to hear. Finally, she plopped in the middle of her big mess. All her searching had made her hungry. Goldilocks stomped into the kitchen. She found cupboards as empty as a mailbox on Sunday. So she looked for a chair to sit on, a place to feel sorry for herself, because what good is a house with no food? Goldilocks sat in the biggest chair she found, but it was too hard. Then she sat in the middle-sized chair, but it was too soft. Finally, she sat in the small chair. Oh, this is just right, she said. Goldilocks bounced up and down. Then splat! The chair broke into tiny bits, but Goldilocks only laughed. I'm getting sleepy. I need a bed, not a chair. I'll find one that is just right. So, Goldilocks climbed the stairs. They creaked loudly with each step. A strange scratching noise fell behind her. But Goldilocks was too tired to turn around. Goldilocks trudged to a large bedroom. In it sat three beds. Each bed was a different size. Goldilocks plopped on the biggest bed, but it was too hard. Then she plopped in the middle-sized bed, but it was too soft. Finally, she plopped in the small bed. Oh, this is just right. And Goldilocks fell fast asleep. While Goldilocks was snoring, the clock struck midnight. And you know, dear reader, No good little girl should be away from her home at midnight. But Goldilocks was too busy dreaming to care. However, someone else in the house cared. Up in the attic, the family of ghosts began to stir. And the last thing these ghosts liked was someone in their house after midnight. Oh, it's time to haunt the cemetery said the Papa Ghost. I hope it's a chilly night, said the Mama Ghost. I hope there are no puppies, said the Baby Ghost. But that's what Baby Ghosts fear most. The three ghosts floated out of the attic, down the stairs, and into the kitchen. Someone has been sitting in my chair, said the Papa Ghost. Someone has been sitting in my chair, says the Mama Ghost. Somebody broke my chair. I hope it wasn't a puppy, cried the baby ghost. The papa ghost looked up. That someone is now in our bedroom, 
Let's scare that someone away. The three ghosts floated up the stairs, through the walls, and into the bedroom. They gathered around Goldilocks. Oh, how fun, said the baby ghost. My first scare tonight. Ready? asked the papa ghost. On three. One, two, three. <laughs> Goldilocks sat up. Her eyes bugged out. Her hair stood on end and she let out a deep scream. And Goldilocks was no more. The ghost has scared her to death. You see, dear reader, that's what happens to nosy little children out after midnight. <laughs> <laughs>